Elizabeth, so this will be your mic. All right, so Mary, how did you hear about Startup Up? <laughs> well, uh, my boyfriend actually happens to work for Sourcehood, and I uh, got lucky enough to be picked at rather the last minute. It was kind of a drop-dead moment of, hey guys at work, I'm uh, going to take off for the next four days, is that okay with you? And they were like, well, I guess since you've already given us your notice, and you're <laughs> sticking around for a month anyway, can you just make sure you come back to us? And I said, <laughs> sure, absolutely. Well, thank you, Source Toad. Yay, sponsor. Yay, yeah. Source Toad. Yeah. 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 Miami, Orlando, so, that area. Oh, cool. Yeah, nice. and we picked up the DC bus along the way and brought them into our family. We love them. <laughs> Okay. Alright. You have one minute. Make sure to watch. I'll give you a five-second signal when you're close to the end. Okay? Okay. Alright. Okay. At the dinner table, my mom used to always tell me, You better finish your food, huh? <laughs> that was... Food waste is very important in my household, but not so much elsewhere. In fact, it's a global epidemic. Did you guys know a third of all food produced goes to waste? What are we going to do about that? Should share to the rescue. Your online marketplace to buy, sell, and share your unused food to your neighbor. So, before that avocado goes to toast, <laughs> set, share, set, share. And what we've done so far is that we've already locked up an angel investor meeting. We're going to have a follow-up meeting with him later this weekend. And we have food waste influencers in the UK and Canada already waiting to push this out for us. So. They really want us to make it easy to say, lend me some sugar. I am your neighbor. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is the face of food waste in America. <laughs> and so is yours, and so is yours. Collectively, we waste more than 30% of the food produced in this country every year. Can you imagine how much money that is? Welcome to Sugar Share, where friends like you and I connect and save time, money, and reduce food by sharing excess food in our pantry. Before that avocado becomes toast, share it on Sugar Share. Right? Got extra energy drinks you want to get rid of? Sell them on Sugar Share. Need an extra pack of sugar? Buy it. Sugar Share. Users right now can go online, browse for free, build a profile, and claim items. Waste is big business. $125 million of venture capital last year went to food waste startups. Sugar Share makes money when buyers and sellers connect, everybody else shares for free. Remember, share the sugar, spare the waste. Time. So the $125 million, $125 billion has gone into this. How are you guys going to take on the competition in this area? Yeah. Uh, there's one primary competitor out of San Francisco right now that is primarily working on a free model for exchange between uh, localized communities. We're aware of them. Uh, we're well aware of their legal and marketing footprint. Uh, we plan to crush them uh, because of the fact that we are... <laughs> we plan, we're, we're building a business model based on transaction rather than on distribution. Do you, have you worked out what maybe what might be the main items on your marketplace, like the top three, top five most commonly used products? Uh, we're thinking primarily pantry-based goods, so dry box goods, canned goods, things like that that are excess. We're also thinking um, strategically about which markets we think can serve the biggest, of which one of our uh, partners here is highly influential and involved with the uh, food sharing market. Uh, which is a pantry-based system, but we think there's excess food there that can be moved within local communities just by connecting those people. Uh, you have a few more 
Okay, um, how are you going to solve the problem of uh, validating the products are sellable or eatable in this case? Um, we're actually going to insist that they, we don't have it set up yet, but we're going to insist that in the future they actually put expiration dates on it. Um, we also will have uh, basically um, an agreement, a user agreement at the beginning written that will ensure that people are taking responsibility for their own transactions. For now, we're going to just focus on unopened goods. Yes. The problem is unopened, unopened goods can still have be before their expiration date, but still already be expired. Like if they leave something out in the sun, it's probably going to expire, right? So how are you going to prevent that from happening? I understand that the people are going to be uh, liable for their own uh, whatever they eat, but... We can't really prevent it if it's something like uh, an unopened hand carton of milk or um, unopened uh, bunch of cheese. We can't really... Um, really do anything about that. It's really something that's um, just going to have to be, like I said, transactional between the two. All right. Thank you.